Okay, what we're going to show you today is how our roller bearing tape guides work compared to the static tape guides. Tape comes around, this guide and this guide here are static tape guides. Tape comes around, these are the arms that push the tape away from the heads and fast forward and rewind. So when we're in play, the outside of the tape is rubbing against those guides right there. And fast forward and rewind, and that's the back side of the tape. Fast forward and rewind, you see how the arms push the tape away from the heads. But the part of the tape that hits these guides is the inside part of the tape, which is where the music is. So you're putting an awful lot of wear on the inside of your tape, especially in fast forward and rewind, and the back coating of the tape on these tape guides here. Okay, we're going to show you the benefits of having our roller bearing tape guides and our roller bearing tape lifter assembly. Up here, here are static tape guides, so when the tape gets threaded through, the back side of the tape is running on those static guides. See there and there. And fast forward and rewind, watch your tape lifters. Push the tape away from the heads so you can go fast forward and rewind. And the inside of the tape, which is where your music is, is rubbing on those stainless shafts and you're creating heat, you're creating friction and you're doing it on the side of the tape that has the music on it. So let's show you now uh, our one with the roller bearing setup. Here and here we have roller bearing tape guides so when the tape comes over and loops around Instead of being pulled across a static guide, it's rolling. Fast forward and rewind. Tape lifters push that tape away from the heads. And now your tape with the music on it, the side of the tape with the music on it, is being is coming across those lifters on rollers. So it's not being dragged across those uh, shafts any longer and as a consequence the machine will work a lot easier and you're not creating any stress on the inside of your tape again where the music is located. Very nice addition to any of your Techniques tape deck are these options right here. It'll help all the mechanics, it'll save a lot of wear and tear on your tape and it's just a good thing to have. We're going to show you what can happen to these guides, these static guides. This is tape, that black is tape residue from the back coating on the tape that rubs off on those pieces and what that will do is it becomes sticky so in fast forward and rewind and in play for that matter the tape coming across this guide is working uh, has to work very hard because it's sticky it, it creates a drag on the tape this one I'm going to try to get so that you can see Right in there is a really big flat spot on that guide. So you can see how abrasive the tape can be after a while. It's, it's strong enough and abrasive enough to put a really big flat spot on that guide. Well, the same thing will happen on your arms that push the, your tape lifter arms. And you can also see, I'll probably refocus. You can also see in here the buildup the 
buildup of residue on the tape lifter and it will have the same effect as the build up here. It creates friction, it's sticky. And all this stuff that wears off on these in fast forward and rewind is all residue that comes off of the side of the tape uh, that the music is recorded on. So you can really, this is very straightforward, simplistic, mechanical stuff to understand. If you want to take care of your tape, you let all this stuff work free and easy on rollers. You can let it in its original state, but you're, you can see what you're dealing with in that original state versus the rollers.